Julian Assange was arrested by British police today inside the Ecuadorian embassy in London, where he's been holed up for nearly seven years. Free, free, free Assange! Free, free, free Assange! He was convicted a few hours later for breaking bail rules in 2012. He'll be sentenced for that next month. But Assange's real problem is the US. The Justice Department revealed Thursday that Assange was indicted last March on conspiracy to commit computer crimes related to Chelsea Manning's leak of classified documents in 2010. And the US has already asked Britain to extradite him, exactly what Assange was afraid of. Since 2010, we've warned that Joy and Assange would face prosecution and extradition to the United States for his publishing activities for WikiLeaks. Unfortunately, today, we've been proven right. We spoke to Assange's lawyer last summer in anticipation of his potential eviction. The reason he got protection is about the risk, risk to a US extradition. Now that risk has only heightened over time. We've seen since Trump came to power. Julian has always said he's very happy to come out and face British justice, but not at the risk of facing American injustice. Although the US obviously wanted to get Assange, Ecuador seems to have kicked him out because it got fed up with his behavior. In 2017, the country elected a new president, Lenin Moreno, who imposed new rules on Assange, including restricting his use of the internet. Assange seems to have ignored the restrictions. In January, WikiLeaks published confidential Vatican documents. And in March, an anonymous website posted hacked material from the accounts of Moreno and his wife. Moreno thought Assange was behind it. In a video statement released this morning, Moreno explained the eviction. Hoy, anuncio que la conducta irrespetuosa y agresiva del señor Julian Assange, las declaraciones descorteses y amenazantes de su organización aliada en contra del Ecuador y, sobre todo, la transgresión de los convenios internacionales han llevado la situación a un punto en que el asilo del señor Assange es insostenible e inviable. Assange will now have to fight extradition to the U.S., which will be tough because of the type of charge he faces. If he'd been charged with espionage, British law could have barred extradition since it carries the death penalty. And if he'd been charged with publishing Manning's documents, his lawyers could have used the First Amendment as a defense. And there are serious questions to be asked of the UK government about whether the UK government wants to be complicit in extraditing a publisher to face prosecution for publishing, which is protected activity. The problem for Assange is that he's being charged instead with conspiracy to hack. This indictment has nothing to do with the First Amendment. It has nothing to do with reporting. The indictment is about the act of, you know, conspiring with another person, in this case, Chelsea Manning, to hack into the classified computer networks. It might seem surprising that the Trump administration would even want to prosecute, since the release of hacked DNC and Hillary Clinton emails helped get Trump elected in 2016. And he talked about WikiLeaks all the time during the campaign. I'll tell you, this WikiLeaks stuff is unbelievable. It's been amazing what's coming out on WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks, I love WikiLeaks. But the US intelligence community and the military have long seen WikiLeaks and Assange as serious threats to national security. It's time to call out WikiLeaks for what it really is, a non-state hostile intelligence service often abetted by state actors like Russia. And the narrowness of the indictment against Assange, which carries a maximum penalty of just five years in prison, suggests that it was carefully crafted to make it easy to extradite him and to try him, without the case becoming a big fight over press freedom and the First Amendment. <laughs>